And it's a rarity that you meet someone whose calendar birthday comes around once every four years. But so was the luck of our LaDawn Davis, who caught up with a former educator, marking her 84th birthday this sleep year. And then people will say to me, they say, um, well, you only, you know, they divide it by four. I say, not really. I say it only comes once every four years, but every year I get older. I don't celebrate it. But today, the Reverend Dr. Joan Newbel got to celebrate her 84th birthday at a luncheon on the grounds of her Carmichael Road home, along with family and close friends. Born on February 29, 1940, the birthday girl says she's happy to be able to celebrate and cut a slice out of life. I found out that when I, um, when I got up to the 50 age, people began celebrating for me. So when the 29th would come, not the 29th, the, any, the 1st of March or the last of, uh -huh, they would um, have, say happy birthday or bring me a present or send me a card. Dr. Newbel has transformed the lives of many students during her 30 plus years stint as an educator. She says it's the expertise gained in this profession that prepared her to become a community organizer and political advisor to many. I was principal at um, Delaport Preschool, Gambia Delaport Preschool for quite a while, 30 something years. And then I was at um, Seed Life. Pre when I retired, I was asked by the authorities at Seed Life School, which is, you know, the Miles Monroe conglomerate, if I would keep the school for them for a while until they got someone else because they had someone in training. So I did a stint there with them and thank God I was able to get their school registered, their nursery and school registered with the Ministry of Education. Friends, the Reverend Dr. Philip Ramming and Bishop Ross Davis reflected on the birthday girl's humbled beginnings. She and, and the man who sits just left of her <laughs> is the man who helped with the Golden Gates World Outreach Ministry. And she was one of the first teachers, real teachers we had. And she did an excellent job. Um, I, I got the list to, 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 to talk about those who passed uh, the, the, the exam. And she asked me, say, look again. Look, Rev, you see it? I said, no, I don't see it. Look again on the list. I look, I didn't see it. Say, Rev, give me the list. I gave her the list and she saw her name. <laughs> and she fell on her knees and screamed yeah. and prayed. She fell down. And this is here today. I'm happy that she's still alive and she remembered me. The Reverend Dr. Joan Newbold is the mother of Chief Petty Officer in the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Officer Leandre Newbold, and is the eldest sister of former colleague Anthony Newbold. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDawn Davis. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Saturn S.